what you're seeing. Yeah, so you can show together like mm -hmm. this way or that way. Or I can go here. When you talk, I can bring you here so other people can see you, for example. Uh huh. For, <laughs> because that's getting retransmitted out. Right. That, that screen gets retransmitted out to everyone else. Yes, and also we can oh, broadcast. That's a, good I that's a good idea so that whoever the speaker is, yeah. you're choosing their video to share so they don't have to see all the people. Especially when you have a when you have a, a broadcast. Now we are doing we are doing bidirectional conference, but sometimes I need to broadcast this one to every class. Imagine you have a class in Korea or you have a class in New York, and I'm teaching in California. Mm -hmm. Then we we need a bidirectional communication. I mean the teaching, so the students in New York can ask a question. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the, the imagine this is the this is the output to product screen. So every student is watching about my my teaching. So I'm I'm yeah. explaining what is iStudio class machine. Which right. one? So so my video is like the other classroom. Yeah. You, yes. But so you're there, are, there are thousand to a other second classroom. But yeah. so there's live to one classroom. Yeah. But then all the other classrooms are not actively participating. They're just watching. Exactly. Because uh, we cannot make a thousand classrooms at the same time. But a thousand classrooms can watch in the individual class. Where mm -hmm. they have uh, their local teachers. So when they have any question, local teacher can help them. While we are broadcasting one, two, one or two uh, several Skype remote classroom interactive way. That's the way how I made with uh, Sweden class, Korea, Sweden, using the same way I'm doing to you. So Sweden use a notebook. They, have mm -hmm. a, they, have, they are watching the same screen as you are watching. And yeah. this screen going to Korea screen and also the Sweden screen. All the students have the same screen as like you are watching me. After that, we broadcast this on all over the Korea country. So all the class, like a ten, 10 or 20 classrooms watching this one, but they cannot participate in this class. They cannot make a question and answer. But mostly question and answer doing by locally with a local teacher. That's the, that's the concept of live teaching. So if you look at the approach I'm doing now is for changing the device in the classroom. Previous time we used this one for lecture recording or flipped mm. learning, whatever, or a distance class. But now, my ambitious plan is to put this iStudio in each classroom. So, question, what does the package of hardware need to be to deliver to the classroom to make it affordable yes. for the classrooms to yeah, this get? Is the because that's always the big issue, right? Yeah, this is the this is the machine I'm trying to put in the classroom. You know, if you look at all the classrooms, they have a many machine now: TV, projector, overhead mm -hmm. screen, all the things. But eventually, we find every teacher using only projector and notebook, and sometimes document camera. That's the that's the main items they are using. They never use a whiteboard or electric whiteboard. They find this is not very good idea to use in the live class. So eventually we conclude that all the modern classrooms are using projector and notebook and PowerPoint and tablet. That's the, that's the main thing they are doing. But mm -hmm. still this one is for inside the class. There's no way to broadcast or share this class with other people. So uh, my idea now, I want to provide is something like this. So without touching anything, we just put small fabric in the back green okay. and mm -hmm. slight light because light always very important to make a beautiful face like now mm -hmm. and then we just bring USB connection to their tablet and notebook to here so basically instead of connecting projector they just connect this one to iStudio and we have a camera bring teacher combining all together from this machine so teacher is watching what's going out here Okay, and, so and USB, oh, let me just understand, USB yeah. is coming from, from the their tablet. laptop, 
yes, tablet. They have a they have a Wacom or they have a, some tablet mouse. Okay, but that's plugged into their laptop or tablet. Yeah. No, their laptop. Their laptop VJ signal now HDMI signal okay. directly coming here. You need to add that label. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, you Yeah, point. so it I only says to... US. So yeah. Okay, so you're taking the VGA out. Yes. And then. But some of the some of the laptops only have HDMI. Yeah, now. they can. Right now, I'm using HDMI, but some people can connect whatever. We support both VGA and HDMI. Okay. And how are you capturing the USB in the or HDMI? And this is this is what we already made inside. As a, as a plug-in as a card? Yes, our card. We have a VTA60 board which is supporting this. And, and after that, we have a function. Right now, this one is VGA input. You know, a second monitor feed by VGA. And this one second from my notebook. When you say the second monitor, what's we, the first we have monitor? A, we have a two monitor. One monitor here. The other monitor here. This is output. This is a uh, menu, but we hide menu. Now I am turning on here Skype. So your video actually showing here, and then we feed back again this screen to iStudio to make this output like this. So same same machine, we have a two screen, com two VGA output. You know the normal normal VGA card has two yeah, HDMI yes. output. Mm -hmm. One one output, one screen. The other output for the other screen. iStudio using the other screen as output of v iStudio. And then we capture to this go one. To, to, the, to go to the projector? Yeah, projector and also this one captured and streaming to you. Okay, you're so recapturing the monitor output. Yes. And re-digitizing that for yeah. re-encoding. Yes. You're not capturing the actual surface. You're not doing the graph. You're not capturing like the... Uh, uh, the programs that do screen grab. Right. right. This is uh, internally. Uh, we we have a VJ output to project, and then internally we make a capture driver to capture this output. Okay, it is driver based, not hardware. You're not yeah. you're not taking the VGA and splitting it and physically reconnect. You're you're doing no. a screen grab. For we have both. Yeah, we have both one, but right now. We use a second screen output using VGA capture function, but this part, I mean the, the Skype part, the Skype is capturing output by driver, and we make a Skype plugin to send this video to you. Let me, let me think about this. You're doing a Skype pl yeah. plugin. Yeah, capturing our output. We, we provide a Skype camera oh. capture driver to send oh, okay. you my right. output. So your 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 direct your captured screen yeah. is a direct show camera input for Skype. Skype. Yes. Yes. That part okay. Got yeah. that. So we have all the so functions. Do you, get, do you get? Do you always get the same questions that I ask, or I'm the <laughs> no, only you are one? No, you are the first questions. genius person asking me question. Thank you very much. <laughs> because that's that's the that's why people doesn't understand. I'm I'm explaining everything, but always people has a question. Still, they're asking. Send me the information because of maybe this function. You you point out I have a problem. We need a VJ capture here, and also we have to explain how you are showing here, how you are watching whole screen from your side. That's the yeah. point, right? So I think that the the flow we need to show where the images. Get yeah. combined like a block diagram showing <laughs> camera source, audio into the yeah, computer, screen, screen. I mean, it's what you have on now on that is close. Yes, it's close. But now, see, I don't know this graphic, the iStudio box. Yeah, to me, it looked like a separate device than this block, uh, this box oh, yeah. that you're showing, right? But it's really the same thing. Yes, Skype is inside. So, no, so I would have just the yeah. the the cart that you have in the middle there. Yeah. Move that, move that graphic 
Where yes. exactly put that there and get rid of that blue box that that stand that you have the okay, profile yeah, stand yeah, just okay. move that over there. Okay, but the the reason is I'm a mechanical engineer. Normally we make a side view here and front view <laughs> here. <laughs> okay, that's why I make I an angle it. here. I, I got it, but yeah. no one else is going to get it. I understand. And the teacher anyway watching students. Students sitting here, so he should watch. That's why we put this one in in bottom. So it, this one doesn't yeah. interfere him to watch students, and mm -hmm. students can watch the teacher. So eventually we have a screen. For example, if you look at the, the older lecture devices in, in most advanced schools in Korea, for example, every student has a notebook, everybody has a, uh electric board, projectors, but very messy here. Mm -hmm. So this is a status of the older schools now. They are trying to find a way how they make a smart classroom. I'm defining one of the classroom using iStudio. Okay, so, so I'm going back to the base, uh, the hardware functionality. Right now you have to use a dedicated PC with a plug-in card. Yeah. Do you need so to get so that? Uh, maybe I can say a little bit later. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we, I have some some meeting schedule. Yeah, we can you can do very quickly. Anyway, okay. this is the this is the idea I'm trying to propose this school and some other school okay. too. Okay. So what, I'm back to what do I if I'm a if I have a classroom, what yeah. hardware do you need to deliver? You need to deliver we, we them. We deliver this C complete complete machine. 